Now, um, there is another object out there that probably contains a lot of ice and it might contain some methane as well, as Patrick <laughs> likes to call it. Um, our, our audience in the chat was saying they prefer it. your pronunciation, Patrick, that they prefer when they hear <laughs> me. Um, so uh, we might find some on this comet, but what is going on with the yeah. comet Berna, Bernard Dinelli? Bernard Dinelli. They always seem to be tongue twisters a little bit. And now it, it is a longstanding tradition that comets, the discoverer gets their name attached to the comet, like Halley's Comet. Um, so nothing wrong with the names. It's just I'm a little clumsy with names. Uh, but this comet is unusual. And if I say something like giant comet headed toward the sun or whatever, uh, people will get a panicky, strange idea. It's not like that at all. This is not going to come anywhere near the Earth, in fact, quite a distance away. But there's something about it that's special. It really is a big comet. And now to give you an idea, when I say it's not going to come near, let me, let me be clear about this. Looking at this diagram, the, when I say that the comet's perihelion, or its closest passage to the sun, will be at 11 AU, believe me, that's not 11 miles. That's 11 times the Earth-Sun distance, and it's farther away than Saturn. So it'll be passing through the outer solar system. Now, there's some benefits to that, though. One of them is that when you're that far from the sun, the sun's gravity pulls you less, and you move at a lower velocity through space, meaning this comet's going to be around for years and years and years for us to look at and study. Uh, the closest approach isn't until 2031. Now, you may think a comet being that far away, we're not going to get much information. Well, this is a big comet. It's going to be providing a lot of signal. Now, we don't know exactly how big this comet is. Now, the comet you see, the little one, that's expected to be a typical comet. So uh, 10, 15 kilometers across. This new one, though, is possibly the largest comet we've ever discovered. This comet would be about 100, maybe even 200 kilometers across. Regular all space viewers will know that is also approximately the size of the state of Delaware. Um, but this monster, uh, we've been looking at it, watching it get closer is a tiny little speck. The question was, as the sun warms it up, when will it begin to vaporize, begin to do the comet thing and start to have what we call a coma, a fuzzy ball around it and so forth, producing uh, gases into space we can study. That'll be great when that happens. Well, guess what? It just happened. People have been watching it very closely. A one meter telescope in South Africa, in Sutherland, South Africa, uh, captured this image and it was spotted just very quickly by uh, astronomers in New Zealand who are watching the images as they were regularly taken. And if you look at the image, you'll see it is fuzzy. So the show is beginning. It's not going to be visible to the unaided eye from Earth. Remember, it's a long way away. In fact, for folks who have telescopes, this will be considerably fainter at its brightest then Pluto is in your backyard telescope. So yeah, you probably are going to see this one at all, but the scientists will. And they'll be studying this thing for years and years and years. And the exciting, fun thing for all of us is that the show is just beginning. So remember, comment Bernardinelli Bernstein. Bernstein. Bernardinelli Bernstein. It's not so hard when you practice a few times. Exactly. But, yeah, and we're going to get a chance to. Yeah, and um, well, thank you for that report. I can't wait to see whether there's any methane surrounding it at this there time. There will be it's methane. Out it's outgassing quite far already. It's not yeah. as close as it'll get, so it has to be some volatiles that are coming off. I just don't know what they will be. Um, and by the way, just for your reference, here's the state of Delaware. So, <laughs> and um, here's the size of Los Angeles County compared to Delaware. So. We're talking about an LA County sized comet out there kind of flying at us. Um, yeah. So, you know, keep that in mind whenever we reference Delaware, it's a little longer than that. <laughs>